So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today is the 26th of September 2021 and I am here at Drayton Manor with... Oh, hello. Hello. I'm with um, Josh, Zoe and Jenna. But um, yeah, we're here to, if I remember right, Shock Point I think and Thomas Land. Jenna's more into Thomas Land, aren't you? Yeah. Get some um, troublesome truck act action later. Um, yeah, this is my first time coming back to Drayton Manor with this Adventure Cove area all open. When we came last, if you watch the vlog back, there was a big like barrier there. That's no longer there. So as Josh was saying, we can get some good off-ride of um, Shockwave today. Yeah. Yes. I think all this looks fairly, fairly good. I mean, I'll give you a walk around later, but like, look, look how good it looks. Drayton, you've done well. You've done really well. I thought the theming on the um, Shockwave station was really good last time I went here. But um, yeah, um, what are, what's the first ride going to be? What is, what's it looking like? Shockwave. Shockwave. Yes. We'll get in that queue. Well, it's only a free queue um, to the actual queue. I hopefully they've opened the indoor queue now because last time I, I was here, COVID was more of a thing than. But when we came, you, you went in and went upstairs and. Yeah. Like that, the one, yeah. yeah, that was the same with us. Like they've actually got good capacity on it now as well because before they wasn't loading every row. Now they're loading every row, like Orton Towers is. So, yeah, we shall get on that and uh, and tell you how we go. But yeah. Let's join that deceivingly long line um, to Shockwave. Right, so we've just come off that hashtag beast. Look at it. Look how blue it is. Mate. It's impressive, it's really impressive. For saying it's um it was built in 1994. That is riding so well. What do you guys think to it? Really smooth, that was banging. Smooth, smooth. And it was rather wet as well, wasn't it? A bit moist. A bit moist. The bottom of the train had like a big puddle. Like, I don't know, some of the dodgy going on there. Somebody's excited to see me. Jenna, you didn't go on that one, did you? No. Why not? Uh it, you have to stand up. But it's good though. And guess what's upside down. And it doesn't go upside down once, Jack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Apparently Jack's been giving um, false Je Jenna false information. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure what we're heading to next. Um, what, what are you guys thinking? I was going to say, because Zoe needs a Wii, and if she wasn't going to go on anyway, we could have done that race. Yes, so we, we could have done. anyway, doesn't she, so. Yeah. We've got a habit of taking people to the toilet on iCoaster. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag iCoaster's toilet services. That's wow. why it was moist. Zoe! <laughs> <laughs> wow! She, she couldn't hold it in, bless her. Wow. Okay. Right. We'll see you on our next ride, but um, yeah, let's go. Oh, no. Right, so we've just been on air race over there. Josh, what do you think of that? That's banging, that. Yeah. I love it. I like my little flat rides and the thrilling ones. Yeah, so you're, you're a massive fan of top scans as well, aren't you? Top scans are my favourites there. Top scans. Hang time's great. Yeah, I, I liked it, but I, you know, I'm not a massive fan of hang time, so I'm not, you know, I'm not um, fussed about it. But yeah, I wanted to give you a quick overview about the Adventure Cove area um, because there's a lot to see that's new. So, um, if you didn't know, Drayton Manor opened this recently um, for the summer. So, like over here, you've got like your kids' play area, you've got your new wave swinger, um, Maelstrom is now um, like themed into this particular area. Um, so is Storm Force 10 and things like that. We will be going on that later. Um, and also around here, if we have a look, not only have you got that shockwave station, again, we, we saw that in the um, previous video, um, but you've also got your River Rapids. Oh, there we go. A shockwave comes around. You've got your River Rapids as well. Yeah, really happy to see that open. 
Um, so we'll be definitely going on that later as well. I'm um, not sure where they are. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> but um, yeah, air races. I, I, I think air races isn't themed into the area that well, um, if I'm being completely honest. But everything else, they've managed to theme um, surprisingly well. Um, I love the little um, kitchen over here. Um, I think that's great. This is the chicken diner. Um, great little eatery. We'll definitely be having something from there. I was saying to Josh on air race, I think that, um, yeah, food shall definitely be consumed here. They're doing their own bit of uh, Oh, are they? <laughs> are you ready for um, a bit of rapids and storm force action, Jenna? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, like I says, here's your wave swinger for this year. Um, brand new one. Not sure who made this one, actually. Um, Jenna, go sit in that um, palm, um, deck chair. Oh, look, really getting into the swing of Adventure Cove, look. <laughs> 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 your face but yeah and again here's your play area again it's like a nice it's, it's a really nice little area for families i really feel like it's good investment um and it makes me think you know trading man has got some good things coming to it do you want to go play on the park do you want to go play on the park do you want to go play on the park <laughs> that slide looks yeah, banging get some slide creds there she goes right i'm not sure where we're going next but um we shall see you at the next ride so we've made our way to um, Apocalypse here. Look, this fantastic Intamin drop tower that's been for sale for ages. I wonder where it's going to. We were saying that we think it should go to Fancy Islands. Um, I reckon they would do well with it personally, but yeah, let's get on this. I think we're going on um, sit down. We'll tell you when we get off though. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get on uh, Apocalypse then. I forgot the name of it. Right, so we've just been on that thing. Oh my words. Like, it's nice to have a seat sitting down because I did one standing up um, and one sitting down. Um, and the stand up, they only had the flawless, that one there, if you can see it there, um, in operation. So, yeah, it was, it was terrifying though. I'll definitely do it again though. I just need to wait for myself to calm down a little bit because that, yeah, it was quite uncomfortable though with sitting in that saddle. What did you guys think to it? You didn't do stand up, did you? Uh, you, uh, you I, I love it. Yeah. I love Apocalypse. I haven't done stand up yet. <laughs> I really do think like Drayton Manor are lucky to have that here, um, but like Josh said in his vlog, it's not, um, well, it's for up to sale, so we don't know how long Drayton Manor have left with this ride. Um, I've heard it, be, it can be quite a maintenance nightmare though, and quite a few of the gondolas were sat at the bottom, they're not running every single one of them today, like they weren't when we came last. Um, so that's one thing to bear in mind if you're coming down and doing shockwave. Um, it's not shockwave, sorry, apocalypse, that big thing. There, look, that big stick in the sky, look at it. It's terrifying. But yeah, definitely do it if you're coming down to Drayton Manor, especially if you come down to Drayton Manor recently. There were cameras at first. I just thought when I first came here, I thought this was rod sticking out the end. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't actually know there was cameras on the first game. I was wondering like, why you got stuff sticking out the side of it. Great bit of theming. <laughs> Great bit of theming. I like the smilers on the camera. I mean, the camera on the smiler. I, I can't speak today at all. Um, but yeah, now we've been on Apocalypse, I feel like I could do anything. Um, right, I shall see you when we, uh, when we go to our next ride. Right. So we decided to come to the zoo to come see what they've got. We've just looked at the meerkats. They're really cute. There's one lying down there, look. Hey, Jenna. What? what are you most excited to see at the zoo? I don't know. I don't know what to put. Oh. <laughs> well, that sucks. Not a snake. Hey, Jenna. Can you spot the chameleon? No. He's in here somewhere. There's a big enclosure. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's cute. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'll have to zoom in, in post. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's so cute. I like geckos. No, chameleon, sorry. <laughs> wrong animal, wrong animal altogether. Looking over here then, you've got your big toy toys enclosure. 
or tortoise. Tortoise, that's it. They do. Look at that. Oh, look, you can see one there, there. There's one there. There's one over there as well. He is, he's, he's enjoying the sun. Well, the artificial sun. They're really cute, look at them. I like the few patterns on their, um, on the shell. Here we go. A western... Yeah, I'm not going to try and decide that. Good old lizard. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's bobbing his head. Oh, he's right cute, he is. Oh, there's more down there as well. A lizard. This one's, actually, oh, there's one there. Oh, look at him. Why do they get such a big I'm not sure. What is in here? Imagine it's like a tarantula or something like that. No? Oh no, stick insects. Oh. You can just see him behind the leaf there. They're pretty. Yeah. Oh, did you notice that one? Which one? Oh, he's on the wall. Oh, yeah. Houdini up there, look. Oh, look. Look at him. He's cute. Oh, We're in the monkey God. bit now. Oh, look at them up there. Just see him there and there. Yeah, look, they're right active, they are. Very cute. Oh, so cute. hello. I want one. I do. They look like they're, they're ample, though. They'll be hard to take care of. Ooh, so we are on the hunt for a big tiger. I hope we get to see him. I hope he's not asleep. That'd be a shame. It's quite a big... Uh, I look, it looked quite small from down there, the, 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 the bit that they've got to like roam. It looks quite big now, like walking down. Where is he? Is he down here? No? Oh, look at that. It's a big He's massive, he is. He'd eat your face. <laughs> wow. He's so cute, though. Right, so that was a good little trip around the zoo. I quite like it, I didn't realise it was that big. Um, it's a lot to offer here, I guess. Um, so we are heading off towards Stormforce 10 and Maelstrom to get my first ride on Stormforce 10 and my first time on Maelstrom. I, I believe you've not um, done Stormforce 10 either, have you? No, it's a new one for me. I've heard very, very good things about it, so I'll have to see how it compares to the other water rides I've done. That being, I don't know, tidal wave. <laughs> like literally, there's probably only one that I've done that will get you this wet. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little nervous because I don't want to get this wet at all. I don't think uh, anybody does, but they've got dryers. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get on. Storm Force 10. Are you ready, Jenna? Yeah. <laughs> let's go. I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to let you look at me. Look at, look, 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 <laughs> look at this. That thing's awful. <laughs> I love it, it's the best water ride in the country. But in terms of getting you wet, like my hair's all wet as well. Look at Josh. Look at Zoe. <laughs> back around, back around. Loving life, look at this. Oh man. And I tell you what, it is a really good ride though, really, really good. Again, that's another one that Drayton Manor should be lucky to have. Well, should be feeling lucky to have because, yeah, it, it, it's a soaker. Jenny, you glad you didn't go on that one now? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well yeah, I, I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, definitely the best water ride in the country. Right, I'm going to get dry and we'll see you in the next uh, clip. Well, I don't know what we're doing yet. Oh, mate. It's so warm. It's so nice. Right, so we've just been on Maelstrom, not one, but two times. Oh, that was really good. That is definitely one of the best ones of these that we got in the country in terms of like gyro swings. Um, that is so forceful. Um, I'd say the one at Poulton's Park feels a bit more forceful just because it's got a bigger like, bigger gondola to go around. But yeah, that, that is really, really good. What do you guys think to it? I love it. It's my favorite flat ride in the country, hands down. We're still squelching a bit. 
It's a good, it's good little ride. The cycle's a bit short though. But yeah. It, but the ride itself's forced and get good airtime as well. Mm, I think it would be for me, it would definitely be my top one of these if the cycle was longer. This is one thing I was talking about, the operations at Drayton Manor have always, well I say always been, last time they're a bit poor, and today they're a bit poor, and it's just kind of like, eh, like... No, 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 no. Operations are actually really good, well, yeah. it's just the cycle that's actually yeah. Yeah, that's sorry, what, that's what, yeah, yeah, sorry, that's what I mean, like, the, the cycle, sorry. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> calm <don't start> down. <laughs> but yeah, I'm addicted to Maelstrom. I am, I really am. I want to ride this but, all day for a video on my channel. I really do. Do it. I do will, it. I actually will. Do it on your own, mate. It's so good. <laughs> But yeah, like in terms of like the queue there, yeah, it does eat through the queue. It's got a lot of seats on there um, for, for one of these. Uh, yeah, I really like it. Um, I can't wait to get, uh, I think it's Loki at like Liseberg. Um, Liseberg got one of these as well, I think. Um, but yeah, the back seat on, um, the back seat on Maelstrom has really done me dirty. I'm still um, soaking wet through. We were sitting down on that and squelching, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, like, I'm still dripping. My top half's drying up now. We went in the dryer and it all it did was dry off my hair. It didn't really dry anything else. Like, I'm... <laughs> just warmed you up and in your eyes, didn't it? Yeah. It's got you warm. Still wet. Yeah. Jenna, are you nice and dry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want a hug? I'm yeah. looking like. Oh. Come on, come on, give me a hug. Oh, look at that. Oh. Your jeans are so. <laughs> I know, mate, I'm wearing them. I feel like you wet yourself. <laughs> it wasn't right. It was a backwards drop that did it. It wasn't even the big drop. Like, oh, you can't really see it there. I was going to turn you around and see it. But, like, yeah, it wasn't even the big drop. It was a, it was a little drop that did it. But yeah, can't believe that. Yeah, I blame Zoe. It was, it was your plan and we all got along. To do it was funny how she was laughing at the station. I was like, she knew what was coming. Yeah, <laughs> you knew. Laughing in the station, I was. You knew. You knew. You knew. You did this. Right. Right. Let's uh, let's go on to our next ride. Not sure what it's going to be. Yet. I think we're going to try and get to Wave Swinger, um, but we shall see you in a second. Oh, and here we go on the on the new for this year, River Rapids. There's Zoe over there. Look, she's doing a good vlog. Oh, vlog on vlog action, look at that. Jenna's um, making her way up the queue, and this, yeah. this soundtrack is banging. Come on, Jenna, give us a good dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is so good. Loving the theming on this already, just look at it. Loving all that. It's my first time seeing this, so. Yeah, it should be a good ride. Are you excited, Jenna? Yeah, you're not a massive fan of water though, are you? So we'll see how this goes. At least it's not it's going to be as wet as um, Storm Force. That was soaking wet through. I've not mentioned that enough times this vlog already. Yeah, all this. I have to say that, I'm not a big fan of all this. I feel like they could have done the cattle pending a little better. But yeah, let's get on the River Rapids. little surprise that was that was fantastic for a rapids ride i was really impressed did you enjoy that for someone who doesn't enjoy rapids yeah yeah that's good that was you know what dre and man hats off to you i'm clapping i swear oh, um, now. yeah i've already got a wet bum from maelstrom um not storm maelstrom chaser. storm chase storm chaser storm force, storm force. <laughs> finally got the name right um yeah i i did really really enjoy that um I think that's a good investment for Drayton Manor. The theming on here as well is just something else. It really is. I think the theming is absolutely fantastic. Drayton Manor can do good theming when they want to because the accelerator queue lines like theme really well. Um, and so is Thomas Land. Um, we're, in fact, I think that's where we're heading now. Um, but absolutely fantastic ride there on, um, on the River Rapids. I really, really enjoyed that. Let's get Zoe and... Uh, Oh, they're, um, they're, they're viewing the photos at the moment, so I'll speak to them in a second. But um, I want to get their thoughts on it because, yeah. What do you think to it? Yeah, look at the picture. Yeah, look at the picture. Yeah, you vlog for a bit and I'll go look at the picture. Uh. <laughs> Hello. 
Subscribe to me and Josh, please. Thank you. This is the theme park fan. Josh. Josh. <laughs> wow. That was Jenna's vlogging services for you all. Yeah. I, I, hope you, I hope you did it proud. I hope you did it proud. I don't think I did. Well, I was really impressed by that. Again, Drayton Manor can do theming when they want to. Oh, um, and they did with this area. So I think... Um, I'm not sure. I think it's Thomas Land next, is it? Yes. Going off to the island of Sodor. Jenna, you ready to meet the Fat Controller? I already am. Get some troublesome <laughs> truck to action. <laughs> yeah. Uh, get Jenna on another Gershlauer. Right. Let's head to Thomas Lands. <laughs> right, so she's all there in the um, off ride. We've been on uh, the Wave Swinger. Great new addition for this year. I know, look here. I'm not sure what his name is, but it's a lion, a little mascot. Not sure what his name is. Do you know what his name is? Go on, give the lion a name. Rory. Rory, is that his name? Yeah. Is that his official name? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have no clue. I, I am not a Drayton Manor expert. Um, but yeah, Wave Swinger was really good. Really, really enjoyed it. We're going to head off towards Thomas Land now. Is that it? Is that the entrance? I'm not quite sure. I've only ever been in here once. So, and the last time I've been in it, it was really, really good. Are you ready for some troublesome yeah. trucks action? Fair, you got the cars Absolutely. Feature. Just for Jack. Oh, <laughs> copyrighted music. Oh, I'm sick of getting copyright claims in my videos. Go on, bugger off. It's from cars, it's worth it. <laughs> Life is a highway. Yeah, look at all this. I said before, I said it before, but I, I was really, really impressed with like, the theming and everything they had done to like, of submerge you in the island of Sodor. Yeah, but uh, we, we read on the entrance it's closed today. I'm not sure what, it, right. what its name is. I know is. where I can get my driving license from. Where? Thomas's driving license. <laughs> right. Just look at this though. Again, I, I personally think this is a really good area, especially for families and kids and things like that. Um, really, really well themed. Um, a troublesome truck is looking a lot shorter than it was when we went last time, I'll be honest with you. Because last time we went, it was horrendously busy. If you've not watched our vlog, then I'll uh, vlog back. I'll go suggest watching it after this one. Make sure you watch this one first. Make sure you watch till the end. Hashtag watch time. Um, here's that little troublesome truck Skirschlauer coaster. Look at it. It's pretty decent for a little family coaster. What do you think of the troublesome trucks? One of the best family coasters I've ridden. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's actually good. Because well, it's family or kids, I, I don't know. Definitely better than 13, would you say? Yeah, I'm not a fan of 13. It's definitely better than Shockwave. Shockwave. <laughs> well, you've not been on Shockwave, so you wouldn't know. Look at it, though. Look how cute it is. Look how cute that is. What's that? Is that Toby? I don't know many of the Thomas that characters. Is sick, yeah. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna have to have a ride on that. That looks, <laughs> that looks terrifying, but great at the same time. <laughs> wow. Right, let's get on the troublesome trucks or whatever we see fit to go on next. So, as you saw there, a bit of off-ride of Thomas. I find it fascinating how it goes around on its pedestal. There's the Troublesome Trucks look. Like I say, fantastic area. Look at all this interaction with the different rides. Jenna, do you want to go on a, um, a drop tower? The cranny, cranky, cranky drop tower? It's cranky. I don't know, you know the, um, uh, the character better than me, don't you? Cranky, this has his name on it. <laughs> Are you two ready for some cranky action? I 
Let's get cranked. <laughs> I think that's a game mode in Modern Warfare 3, wasn't it? That's a good game mode, that was, from what I remember. But yeah, let's get on Cranky the drop tower. Well, I switch went on Cranky the ride. That, that's better than Apocalypse, mate. That is, that is, that is 10 out of 10. How, do, how was that for you? That was, was, was it exquisite? It was truly exquisite. Oh, we got a truly exquisite, boys. We got a truly exquisite. Yeah, that, that was good. The cycle was very, very short, though. I will say, but the fact that it was a short cycle made me cranky. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. I'm here all week, I'm here all week, I'm here all week. Can't do the paparazzi, can't do the paparazzi. <laughs> Paparazzi. <laughs> right, I, I, I'm not sure where we're heading now. I think we're heading over to the. You want to do the Toby I rides? Shop, mate. The, the shop? I oh, there's a shop! <laughs> Jesus, I didn't realise there was a shop. I want a Right. We'll see when we come out of the shop. Uh, I'm not going to film anything in there, so there's nothing worth filming, but. Uh, yeah. yeah, Thomas. We'll and tell we you what we're coming on next um, after this clip. Right, so I said I wasn't gonna, I said I wasn't gonna film in the shop, but Jesus, there's so much, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting there to be this. Like, look at this, this is so cool. Like, this is a massive shop, by the way. It goes all the way from there um, to there. Like, wow, what? What, 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 what? Yes. Oh, look. Ah. I'm five again, mate. I'm five again. Introduce it to him. Look at it. Look at the Oh, Jenna. Oh. Hold, hold, hold my bag and hold this. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it couldn't do it again. It's oh. like a full you coming out. Oh, uh, you always call it again. Jenna's a bad kiss. He's two, he's four, he's six, he's eight. <laughs> no. oh, I'm just, I'm so impressed with all this. Like, I wasn't expecting this to be here. You know what, Brian, the only thing I would say is, you didn't chug a chug when you went through it. No, I didn't, I didn't. Go on, Zoe, you get through there. Go around that way, and I'll chug and chug when you come through. <laughs> You're going to chug and chug. Yes. And a chew woo as well. If you don't get a chew woo. Fine. Fine. What? Dinosaurs and Thomas. <laughs> Go on. Where's the sugar shug? <laughs> oh wow. Sorry, I like to retake of that. Off your camera now and go through the minutes. Like a dream. Jesus Christ. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> right. Look, oh, we've got some Dream Manor merchers here as well. Do you know how we always get a magnet if I'm Yeah. Somewhere? Oh, they're so cool. Look at that. There's one for Jack. Good flamingo. For four pound though, I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass on that. Mm. Oh, I'll take the bag back now, by the way. Oh, Jenna's getting some dinosaur books. So, uh, yeah. Again, I just wanted to show you because I was really impressed with what was in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see the, uh, the, the ride as well. That is amazing. I want one. <laughs> what is it? Wait, look, you can see in there and it's got a track. <laughs> that's, 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 that's really good. And oh look, here you go. Your little rise down there. But yeah. I'll turn you off and I'll see you outside the shop. But yeah, again, really impressed with this. Oh, are these all the DVDs? Cinema night. Hey Zoe, this is a date idea for you and Josh. Binge watch um, all series one of um, Tom's Sank Engine. Complete series nine as well. <laughs> wow. From now. Nine quid? Nah, mate, nine. No, ten quid? Eight quid? Yeah, that, that's extortionate. Um, I have to say, it is a bit pricey in here. That's what I will say about this, but... God, it's just so big. It's just so big. Yeah. Right, well, I'll turn you off. I shall come back um, when I'm outside. Right, okay. So, I've, I've coming out of Thomas Land, we've decided that we're going to give the haunting a good go. 
It's a um, Vekoma Madhouse, so it's like Hex at Orton Towers. If you've ever been on Hex before, if you've not been on Hex, what are you doing? Get on Hex. Um, so I'm gonna see what this is like. Um, ride, exit, okay. So apparently, is this the place? Ah, I believe it's the place. Oh, it's got a bit of a queue. Will this go down quickly? I'm not quite sure. 50 minutes? Oh no, it's 50 minute per cycle. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see how long this takes us to get around, um, but I'm quite looking forward to it. Again, Hex is a good ride. Good old oak tree. We'll see how long this takes us. Right, there we go then. We should experience the haunting for the first time. Um, I would definitely say Hex is better, um, and it is better as an overall package but for what that was it was so good for like a little Vekoma Madhouse like Hex is one of the uh, I've heard it's one of the bigger ones um, and that was tiny in size but it still could fit a decent amount of people in but like, yeah, I like the story going through the um going through the haunted house and having to find out whether there's paranormal activity what do you guys think? Firstly I prefer Hex I like, I like the story of this one but I feel like effects wise is quite a lot in the story. Like with yeah. Lines, on Hex is probably better. But I like the fact that the mirrors and stuff. Are really bad. Awesome. Yeah. There was a surprising amount in there because I wasn't expecting it to be so much. I was expecting it to be the because without going into too much detail to spoil it for you um you sort of walked into a room they gave you a bit of a um a brief and i thought you were going to go straight into the um the kind of that house no you went into um this corridor and then you went into another room and then you went into the madhouse and i feel like that was really good spacing and i feel like the ride was really well paced as well in that aspect um but again i definitely think jewel i mean hex sorry hex it's was not... better what do you think to it i like it i like spooky yeah, did you um did you prefer it or to um Yeah, because I, I prefer the theme. Yeah. Because you like spooky stuff, don't you? Yeah. You like dead stuff. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um but yeah, um I think we're heading off on to Apocalypse now, aren't we? Yeah. The um Intamin Drop Tower. Look at it. Look at it. Are you gonna uh, the question is, are you gonna brave it standing up this time? Go on. Go on. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> no, no. Do it. Do it. Do it's a bit it. Tall, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it, it is tall. It's 170 feet. But you know what? I, I, I didn't find the. Um, I think again, like I said on um, Josh vlog, actually, I think it's more the fear thing, isn't it? Mm. On, on Apocalypse than the, the actual ride. Um, the ride is very intense, but I feel like again, it's, it's the anticipation of going up, and I feel like you do get a longer duration going up on. Apocalypse on the stand-up, but it's still very, very good. I still really enjoy it. Um, it's definitely better than Detonator at, at um, Thought Park. I've made up my mind now after having a few rides on it. Um, but yeah, let's get on this uh, this trap tower. <laughs> Good ride there on Apocalypse and a good ride, well I say good ride, but on Pandemonium. The restraints just aren't for me I'm afraid and the hang time you got on that. I'm not a massive fan of hang time anyway. You had a better experience than me didn't you? Oh I love that. I got some right hang time. Oh, yeah. I feel blood rushing my head a lot though. Yeah I did, like there was a point where I'm sure I saw stars because I just felt all of the blood rush to my head and that's where I, that's why I was going oh, like oh that was not not the best, I probably won't go on that again. Fine. Um, yeah? Sorry, there's a queue, so if you guys want to go on Shockwave while I get my donuts. Yes, that brings me on to... Yes, that brings me on to the next point, um, by the way. Um, we are heading to Shockwave. Well, how do you find Apocalypse, by the way? Did you enjoy Apocalypse? 
Oh yeah, it's growing on me now. I can officially say I confirm that I like it. Like, I need like, a few goes to confirm it. I actually felt 100% relaxed. And a nice banging bit of air to me. Yeah, how did you find that so as well? Did you, did you enjoy it now? That was better than earlier, actually. Yeah. It was really good. I think the screaming helped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she deafened both of us <laughs> on the I way down. In the middle, so. <laughs> It was it was really good. Um, I, I do really enjoy Apocalypse now. But like, tell, like ask me at the start of the year, do I like drop towers? I would I'd say all the time, no, <laughs> they're awful. But yeah, um, the rides I've had on Apocalypse and Detonate this year have like changed my mind completely. So yeah, take that as you will. Um, I really do like drop towers, and I'm looking forward to getting out to some of those abroad when we can. And I keep talking about abroad trips. You want to go abroad, don't you? Energylandia. Energylandia. I'm going to go to those places. Fantasyland, Energylandia. Port Ventura. Port Ventura. Yes, I want to go to Port Ventura for good old uh, Shambhala. Um, Tauta is one of the best hyper coasters in the world. Um, that, that should be really good actually when we do get out to Shambhala. Yeah, but it's not Shambolic. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope not anyway. <laughs> Let's hope not. Um, I've heard um, Hershey Park over in America got a new hyper, and apparently that's really bad. Um, again, I've not ridden it for myself, so I can't confirm it, but something like Candy, Candy Mountain, it's called or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's head over towards Shockwave and get our last rides on the day. In terms of like overall dayness, then, how, how are days gone? I'd say it's gone really well. This, I really like Drayman. This has been the best theme park day I've had all year. Oh, wow. Really Oh, I'm, I'm glad to have shared it with you. I really am. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'd say this is the be definitely better than last time we came Drayton Manor. Um, the operations um, last time we went Drayton Manor were a bit poorer than they were today. So that really didn't help things. Um, everything's flushed out now in terms of queues because it is half four. So, and the park closed at half five. Um, no, sorry, five. So, yeah, but my opinions of Drayton Manor have gone up a lot um, after going on stuff like The Haunting, um, going on a few more rides on Apocalypse, and even going a few more rides on um, on Shockwave and Storm Force 10. It's, it's changed my mind about this park, and before I came here, I thought it was... Uh, but now I'm, I'm, I'm sold, and I'm thinking about buying a season pass. Same as you guys. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Right, let's get on Shockwave for our last ride of the day. had a last ride there on Maelstrom. I really like that. I, I've, I've made my mind up. I prefer it to Cyclonator now. Um, and the reason being is I just feel like it goes faster um, than Cyclonator. It's more intense. Zoe's ride, wasn't it? Yeah, I love it. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. No fault. Well, the cycle could have been longer, but apart from that, I definitely feel like the cycle needs to be longer and that and that goes to like Drayton Manor in general. The cycles on their rides are just too short. Um, and what? 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 Is that a seagull? Is that a is that real? Or is that a bird? Yeah, <laughs> is it real? Oh crap, it is real. Well, jeez. I wasn't expecting that to fly away. What do you think to that? Because um, we had two rides, didn't we? We had uh, Maelstrom and Shockwave. Now, Shockwave back row, it was really, really intense. It's definitely a back row coaster for me. Would you say the same? Got, got a dictionary open there. Look at the definition of intense. That'll be it. Yeah, that was. Oh, here it comes. There we go. Bit of mid talk B roll there. Yeah, that was incredible. Um, Shockwave is, yeah, it, it, it's so good. Unfortunately, it doesn't break into my top 10. I do feel like um, Inferno's better, but I feel like it places number 12. I feel like um, Odyssey placed number 11, um, but I do really, 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 really like that ride. It's a nice you, blue. It is a nice blue. <laughs> How's, it, how's your day been, Jenna? All right, I felt like three rides, but... <laughs> 
well, you know what? It's like, still a day out, isn't it? Yeah, you got, we got to see the zoo. We got to do lots of different things, I guess. Plate of bubble waffle, so I'm happy. Bubble waffle. I've got donuts in my bag. Yes, you're all packed and ready to go in the car. Huh? I have donuts. <laughs> oh, donuts? Snacks I've car. already had a donut. And you see. there's four, so... Oh, <laughs> what a legend. Oh, we, we've been promised donuts, that's it. It took, it took the whole time for you guys to get here, go on shop and come back for me to get it. But... Jeez. How has your day been? Incredible. Amazing. Yeah, Drayton Manor has really gone up in terms of like the parks that I like. Like, I prefer it to Chesington now, like in all honesty. But I feel like Chesington is a good park. Don't do that, but it's boring. Don't do that yeah. to Vampire. Wow. <laughs> Vampire is a good ride and I feel like Chesington has a lot. Of, well, sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot, but this has more than Chesington. And what it does have, I feel like it does a little bit better than Chesington. I've not been on Crop Drop yet, so I couldn't give you a review of that and tell you how good like the newer investments are. But just look at this. Like, if, if they can like make themed areas like this, then this park is going places. And I tell you what, like, I, I want to be part of that. I, I love this park. I really do. Hi, sorry, Ryan in post. I wanted to say a massive thank you to Zoe and Josh for um, featuring in the vlog today. Um, hopefully, um, it will be the first of many vlogs and videos that they will be in. Um, but again, a massive thank you to those two. They're truly awesome. They really are. Um, and their links to their social media and their YouTube will be linked down in the description. Um, please go follow them. Um, let's get Josh to 100 subs and let's get Zoe to 2,000 subs by the end of the year. So yeah, unfortunately though, we have come to the end of the vlog. So um, if you have liked the video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. This has been Jenna, Josh and Zoe, and we shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.